I'm not joking, like I think antidepressants as a medication is one of the biggest pieces of shit things that the medical community or the pharmaceutical community has done to humanity. I mean, look at the shit that's happening. I'm not exaggerating, I lost a year of my life. Like I was like, not me at all, like cuckoo pants. Like, I love life. I love my friends. I love my wife. I love my kids. I love fucking, I'm like, you know, petting trees. I love all that shit. I love moss. I love like running my feet through the grass, you know, like barefoot. Like I love all that. Like I, I feel really, for lack of a better term, blessed to exist at all. Um, but this, those fucking antidepressants, man, tore me up. They took me to a different place where I'd be like, you know, we're in the middle of recording a record and there's like these train tracks behind the house, uh, behind the studio and I'm like, if I just went and laid down on those, I would be out of everybody's way and they would make a better record without me. That's fucking cuckoo. Like, and I know that now, but I was like, whack, do you see those commercials that are like, if you experience blah, 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 I had every one of those symptoms, but I was too prideful to tell anybody because I felt like somebody would say like you're crazy or I don't want to be around you know what I mean it, but even at that point like it's crazy to think that I thought it would that my friends and my loves would say that would shun me because I was thinking these things that's how fucking fucked up those drugs are they made me feel completely helpless and caving in on myself Nobody told me that you're not supposed to kick them cold turkey either. So I had a fucking interesting time with that. Like, I'm not trying to make excuses for it because I'm trying to fight it desperately. Desperately trying to fight it um, without like antidepressants or Xanax or whatever because that shit's poison. Like, I, I was on some of that stuff for a little bit and it was a hell ride. Like an absolute, absolutely I lost a year of my life, just like cognitively. When I get on stage, I'm fine. I have no like qualms. I'm not like worried what anybody thinks. I'm not like scared of the crowd or I don't really care if people like us or not. Like it's just, I'm playing my songs as honestly as I can and like I sweat it out and that's when I feel the least amount of anxiety. At home, I get in my routine, I go jog every morning, I play racquetball every day, or five days a week, you know? And I just try to sweat it out, and it works, you know? And plus, I have my kids around when I'm at home, so that is a real good buffer. If somebody reaches out to you, and tries to reach out for a grounding, like, be there for them, because that shit sucks. Don't be ashamed if you have anxiety, and just stay the fuck off antidepressants. Unless you're like, you know, I know people that need to be on like antipsychotics and stuff, like they have to, or they're fucking, whoo, I'm telling you, I really feel like I wasted, wasted like at least a year of my life, like on this fucking hell ride. And the only good thing that came out of it is our last record. <laughs> Cause I could, I don't think I would have written that shit the same way if I wasn't like, whoo, like just cuckoo, man.